once there was a tradesman in a country. He had two daughters. The tradesman's wife's name was Alina and two daughters named were Lucy and Luna. The elder daughter was excellent in beauty and she owned vanity for that. On the other hand, the younger daughter was very simple in nature and good in person. As the younger daughter was not that much pretty, she had to finish all the household chores according to the direction of the mother. Since the younger daughter was so close to her to the father, so when he comes to home from trading, Elena used to treat her well. But when the tradesman went out for trading, the terms were completely changed to the younger daughter. As usual, the time came and the tradesman went for trading. Then Elena asked the younger daughter, After finishing all the household work, you must use the spinner to yarning in afternoon. I don't want to see you to take rest after meal. I need the yarns according to the account. Otherwise, you will not get dinner tonight. Okay, Ma. I didn't tell you anything because your father was here. You enjoyed enough. If you do not work properly, you may have pain in your feet. The whole noon she spun yarn beside the well. She felt pain in her hand after spinning the wheel continuously for long hours. After working an hour, when Luna felt thirsty, she thought, I'm feeling thirsty. I must drink some water. While leaving the spinning wheel and getting up, suddenly the spinning wheel fell into the well. Luna got scared and ran into her home to tell everything to the mother. Mom, spinning wheel fell into the well. What? How do you work? You just want to doge. I swear, Mom, you believe me? I'm feeling very thirsty. I was going to drink water. The spinning wheel fell. I don't want to hear anything. Pick up the wheel from the well. Make the yarns and give me. Luna went out of clue. She walked and sat beside the well. After a while, she stood up beside the well and suddenly she jumped into the well. Luna realized she is passing through the air and falling down the well. When she reached at the bottom, she lost her senses. After a while, she came back into her senses. She opened her eyes and realized that she was lying on a green ground of grasses. Pictures, flower blooming on the green grasses. Luna sat up on the ground and saw that there are not much houses around. Also, the plants are looking very different. She started walking on the path while looking across the strange scenery. The strange trees had strange looking flowers and fruits hanging with them. The birds are calling in the trees which are very beautiful to look at. She kept going and found a house made of cake and biscuits. And there were many cakes which were getting ready in the pot. Suddenly, they all sat together. Luna, 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 can you hear us? Quickly pick us up or else we will burn. Luna, can you hear me? Luna was very surprised to listen to that. After getting surprised, the cakes are taken down and arranged by Luna. Then Luna kept on going and saw the strange trees which had strange looking flowers and fruits hanging with them. The flowers said, Luna, Luna, can you hear us? You shake the tree and all the fruits will be yours. Luna was surprised again. All the fruits were fallen on the ground after Luna shook the tree. She tasted one of the fruits which was very delicious. Suddenly, hearing a voice, she turned around and saw an old lady who was standing in front of her house and calling Luna from there. Hey girl, can you hear me? Come here, come to me. What place is this, grandmother? 
This is a magic land. It is called Fairy Land. Oh, Fairy Land. It's it's beautiful name. Do you live alone here, Grandma? Along with different kinds of birds and animals, me and my daughters, Red Fairy and Blue Fairy live here and we are very much happy here. Your daughters are fairies. Where are your daughters? They'll come, they'll come. This is the time they are coming. Where did they go, Grandma? In this land, they look after birds and animals. Oh, Grandma, how did everyone know my name here? <laughs> we know everything, my daughter. I know every bit of your mind also. During this conversation, two fairies came in front of them flying from the sky. Ma, who is she? I'm Luna. You are looking very simple. How did you come here? Then Luna told her all the story to them. After listening, the old woman said, From now onwards, you stay here only. Help me to finish the work. Okay, I'll stay. But what do you do, Grandma? Me? I bake cakes. And my daughters, they fly away with the cakes to the animals and birds. And they return home in the evening. I'll stay. Luna stayed there, finished all her household works and helped to make cakes there. She used to talk with the fairy in the evening and sometimes she also went with the fairies. One month has passed like this. She becomes upset for her mother and told this to the old lady. I'll go to meet my mother once. Will you come back after visiting the place? Yes, I'll come. Wait, you are a good friend of ours. How will we let you go without anything? Saying this, the fairy made her very beautiful by touching the magic stick. Along with this, the fairy also gave her beautiful and strange fruits, flowers of fairyland, and a bucket full of cakes. Hey, stop! You had stayed here with me. You helped me in my work. How could I let you go without anything? Take this. It is your gift. The old lady gave her a bag of coins. After that, blue and red fairies flew with her. They kept her down in front of her house and they again went into the well. Luna went into her house. At first, the wife of businessman did not recognize Luna and after recognize, she said, Oh my God! Whom I see? Oh my! Where were you? And how did you get this much beautiful? Luna told everything to her mother after giving her the basket of food and the bag of coins. She also told that she would get back to fairyland and would come back sometimes. Hearing this, Alina locked Luna inside the room, then called her elder daughter Lucy and said to her, You will cut thread by the spinning wheel from today. Then you will drop the spinning wheel into the well and jump into it. Luna has come back with a lot of beauty. You are already beautiful. You will be more beautiful. And you will also get a lot of coins like Luna. Lucy heard her mother and threw the spinning thread into the well and jumped inside the well. She opened her eyes and realized that she was lying on a green ground of grasses and the pictures, flowers blooming on the green grasses all around. The path was crossing the ground in the middle. She kept going that path and found a house made of cake and biscuits as said by Luna. And there are many cakes which were getting ready in the oven. 
Suddenly, the cakes all set together. Lucy, 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 Lucy can you hear us? Hear us? Quickly, pick, pick us up, or else we will burn. We will burn. Why would I do this? Will I burn my hands while lifting the cakes? She kept going and saw the strange trees and strange-looking flowers and fruits hanging there. One of the flower which was hanging there said to Lucy, "Lucy, Lucy, can you hear us? You shake the tree, and all the fruits will be yours." Yes, I shake the tree, and all the fruits will fall on my head. At that very time, the old lady came and said to them, "Oh, girl." You stay with me and help me in doing my work. Lucy stayed there. First day she finished all the household works. Second day she could not finish her work and the third day she fell asleep in the evening and the fourth day she wake up very late in the morning. She had quarreled with the other two fairies. At that time old lady was annoyed and said hey hey you go home i don't need you okay i'm leaving but my salary salary why you have given luna a bag of coins while she was going back i also want the same what else you want Make me beautiful. You are already beautiful. How much beauty do you want? Hey, no coin. This is your salary. She cries out of pain. Ah, ah, what is this? What happened to me? It's the result of your hatred. After that the fairies took her out of the well she came back to the house with her ugly face her mother was astonished to see her luna was very amazed on seeing lucy like that she took her to well and said red fairy blue fairy where are you fairies both the fairies came out of the well and said tell me luna why did you call us give back the beauty to my sister No, Lucy will not get back her beauty. She has no sympathy for you, no love for you. She hates you, Luna. As you are beautiful, your mother had sent Lucy to Fairyland, and you are asking me to give back her beauty. Luna remained silent. Lucy told while crying. Red fairy, blue fairy. Give me my beauty back, and I have assured you that I will be not be jealous towards anyone. Not only you, your mother also must assure that she will not hurt Luna anymore. We will not forgive you both if you hurt Luna again. Keep this in your mind. We'll not forgive you anymore. I assure you. that i will never hurt luna again red fairy returned the beauty of lucy touching the magic stick after that red and blue fairies returned to the fairy lands under the well after that luna went to fairy land sometimes to see her fairy friends she also visited the old lady and after staying for few days there she returned to her house Elena or Lucy did not misbehave with Luna after that. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon for upcoming videos.